Hey guys, Kalima here, or Callie, and welcome to another video. I know I sound congested and stuff. I slept with a fan on in California in winter. So, dry, dry, dry sinus infection. Anyway, I need to get a humidifier again. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be staying up for 24 hours straight with my sisters again. This is going to be like the third time we've done this ever, like staying up for 24 hours. I know people do that like regularly. I don't see how that's crazy, but I want to make a sweater, knit a sweater specifically in 24 hours, like whole sweater finish, like this is gonna be my first attempt, okay? And I hope I can finish it, please finish it in 24 hours. That would be so awesome. So the yarn I'm gonna be using is this yarn here. Let me take it out the bag. It is Drops Andes. Very nice, thick sweater that it's, it's going to make a nice thick sweater. But it's a nice thick yarn. It is a warm blend of super fine alpaca and Peruvian highland wool. No wonder it's so soft because of the alpaca. I didn't even know there was alpaca in this. Wow. But it is 65% wool, 35% alpaca, and then like the needle it suggests is a nine millimeter. But I'm going to be doing the seamless mock neck sweater by Well Love Knits, Bethany. And I am so excited because this is gonna be like my first chunky sweater, really. I made like thicker sweaters using like double stranded, double stranded drops air or like drops melody, but they're so soft and they're not really that chunky, but this is a chunky yarn. So this is a sweater that I'm going to attempt to make. I read through the pattern once, but I haven't really read through everything. So every, oh my gosh, my nose. <laughs> but I haven't really read through every single thing, which I usually do, but today is just gonna be a nice surprise. I think there'll be techniques that I haven't done before. So I'm just gonna follow the pattern like to the T, take it step by step. And I will let you guys, I'll update you guys on what I'm doing. Oh. I forgot to show you the time. It is 5.20 a.m. So by the time I start, it'll be like 5.30. So I will stay up until like 5.30 tomorrow, January 6th, which is Malika's birthday. So that's kind of like we're staying up for her birthday all day. So that's going to be cool. I'm going to start now, but just a second. The needles. I'm going to be using nitpicks shorties for like the collar area and then I'll be using my Licka needles for the body and the sleeves and such. Well, depends on how big the sleeves are, how chunky the yarn is. So I may use this for the sleeves as well and just use like my 24 inch. But I'm gonna start now and I will update you guys. Yeah. Look, the completion time says 20 to 30 hours, okay? It's possible I can do it within 24 hours. <laughs>
it is like oh, five hours later and I only have this done, okay? I don't know why it took me this long, but I think because I actually knitted the collar down, usually I don't do that. I just like sew it down, but I was like, okay, the only time I actually knitted it down was the first sweater I made and I didn't do that correctly. Now that I figure out how to do it correctly, I'm like, okay, maybe I like this. So I attempted to do this and this is so chunky. It took me forever, but it looks good. Let me put the camera down so you can see like, this looks so nice and squishy and I'm liking it. So I think I'll start folding my collars down, like knitting them down now that I know how to do it. Anyway, I'm supposed to be switching to eight millimeter needles, but I don't have 16 inch eight millimeter needles. So I'm going to actually just switch straight to my Lika needles and go straight to the 32s. And I'll just do like the travelers, hold on. I'll just do like the travelers traveling loop until it just fills up the entire cord because I don't feel like trying to figure out the how to do it on 24 on 24 inch. So I'm just gonna do 32 inch immediately and see how that goes. But now that I'm done with the collar, hallelujah, I should be able to start the body. Wait, I can finish, I can start the yoke and then get to the body. So hopefully this goes by fairly quickly because I, I, I really don't know why the collar took me that long. I think because I don't really care for chunky yarn, it's making me move slower, but I should be able to move fast now that I'm just doing plain stockinette. This is the yoke so far. I am loving these raglan stitches. I love how it matches the two by two rib. Like, oh, beautiful. These needles are just so buttery. And I'm almost done with the yoke. It seems like it's gonna be like small, but maybe it just, maybe when I split for the body, it'll just continue, I don't know. Maybe the raglan doesn't need to be that long. We'll see. But I'm really loving this collar. Just uh, look at that. Also, it's 2 p.m. right now. I have finished the yoke. It's so weird because the yoke is so small, but I guess these shoulder raglans, because in this pattern, the raglan is on the shoulder. I feel like it's almost like <laughs> shaping the shoulder, honestly. And it just stops like here and then I have to split for the front and the back. So this is the back right now. This is the front. They look the same. And the raglan stitches are right there. And so now I'm going to work flat on the front and flat on the back. I have not done that before. This is weird. And I'm nervous. Wait, I have to sneeze. I'm nervous because I haven't done that before. And I hope I don't mess up. <laughs> And I don't care to work flat. The last time I worked flat was in August. August? Yeah, August. So I haven't really done that. September. September? That's when I did the... Yeah, I did yeah. Okay, September. August, September. Yeah. yeah, August, September time. That's the last time I knitted flat. First and last time. So I haven't knitted anything flat since then. But today's the day. I'm going to do it. And hopefully I work faster since it's gonna be flat. Maybe right. it'll be faster. Oh, it's okay. <laughs>
my hands are so tired right now. Like I'm taking, a, I'm gonna take a break and eat something. It is currently five. It just turned five. It's five oh six. Still January fifth, and my hands are tired. Like they don't hurt. They're just tired. My arms are getting tired, and I think it's because. First, I'm working with chunkier yarn than I'm used to because I'm used to working with like fingering weight, DK weight. But this is what I have so far. I am almost halfway done with the... I don't know if this is the front or the back, but I'm working flat right now and it's actually not bad. I'm liking how it's looking. I'm, I love this raglan, bro. Like this is just so beautiful, but... The pattern is so easy to read, like, it's very, mm, you can grasp it easily. It's easy to read, easy to understand, and I haven't done anything with, like, casting off, binding off stitches to start knitting flat and stuff, so that was new to me, and that was pretty cool. So I'm excited to get through this. It's going pretty quickly, not as quickly as I want since I took so long on a collar, but I think I can make some good time. It's just five, so I guess my next update can really be at like, I'll say... I'll be literally up to 12 Oh hours. gosh, oh <laughs> my god, so much time. Maybe, well, it has been 12 hours now. Well, since I woke up, I woke up at, well, I woke up at like four or something, but let's say five. So 12 hours so far, I have... 12 more hours to go so maybe I'll update you guys at like midnight or something see how far I've gotten so this is where I am now we'll see if I'm done with this and the back front panel I had to save these stitches or how do you say it let me put the stitches on something hold yeah put these stitches on hold so we'll see I'm gonna eat rest my hands a bit watch some Hassan, and then come back in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoa, seven hours. Okay, maybe I'll come back five, six, seven, eight, nine, at 10 p.m. Yeah. It is now 10 o'clock, and it took me forever. I took my ponytail down because my head was hurting, and it took me forever to get my stitches off of, like, the... How do you call it? The, the the stitch holder thingy. But I finished the first part of the flat panel. And now I'm on the second panel. I don't know if it's the back or the front. They are literally the same. But I'm going to finish, those, finish that up. Or try to finish that up. Before I start back in the round. Because I do those two flat. And then I connect it back in the round. Which I haven't done before. So... A lot of the techniques in this pattern I haven't done before, but let me show you where I am right now. So this part right here is what I am now holding on stitches. No, I'm now holding the stitches on. Yeah, whatever. This is that part. So it's like under the boob part. And now I am working on this back part. So I'm almost halfway through that part which is so awesome i'm so tired right now usually i'm in bed by 10 and yeah so this is my bedtime and i'm still up i think this is going to be the biggest hump to get through and past 12 like getting past 12 i think then i'll be fine my sisters and I are about to go watch Now You See Me 1 and 2 and then possibly John Wick 1 through 3. We've already seen them, so they're just movies for us to just keep us up. <laughs> but I'm excited with how this is turning out. I do not know if I'll be able to finish this within the 24 hours, but I will try to finish up the entire body so that all I have left are the sleeves. So this video will be attempting to knit a sweater in 24 hours and I think if I try it again next time like another time which I don't I don't want to but if I do I probably use chunkier yarn but I don't even like chunky yarn so yeah that's not gonna happen anyway time to watch movies <laughs>
brief intermission. It's, it's 12 a.m. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Ooh, happy birthday to you. Yep, 22. Taylor Swift year. It's so blurry on her. But we also have five more hours until we're done. Well, five and a half. And we're almost done with Now You See Me 1. And then we'll watch Now You See Me 2. Yep. I'm actually not that tired it's anymore. So routine, so I'm, just like <laughs> I'm actually like... not that tired anymore because I've started connecting the body together. Love I don't want to lift it too I'm high happy. because the message just might fall off. But I'm excited because then I just have to knit and around and uh, I'll be done with the body soon. <laughs> It is currently 2 a.m. I have three and a half-ish more hours. You know what? I'm just staying up until 5 a.m., not 5.30. Because I actually woke up at 4 something, but I didn't start working on this until 5 something. So when 5 hits, I'm going to sleep. I'm so tired right now. I can barely keep my eyes open because there's so much pressure here, like I have a headache and stuff. But watching the movie definitely helps. Here is progress, okay? This is what I have so far. I have slowed down considerably because I'm so tired and also my arms and wrists and hands feel so overworked, like knitting quickly and knitting with the chunkier yarn oh my gosh i have to take so many breaks like just stop stretch out my arms stretch out my hands and everything knit again and then knitting flat slowed me down as well i was just like oh my gosh i don't like when i don't like knitting flat but this is turning out really cute these are the armholes like this is armhole one armhole two so I could actually try this on. Yeah, this is how long it is so far. This is my belly button right here. So it's really like a very, very cropped vest at the moment. But I'm expecting not to get to the ribbing because I'm moving slower. But I will finish this sweater this week because I'm not going to finish it in 24 hours. That just didn't happen, unfortunately. But I'll finish it this week and show you guys in another video, maybe my vlog. We will see. Yeah, I'm going to continue. And I think I will do, a, do an outro in the morning, like after I sleep and stuff, so I can try this on and show you guys what it looks like before I edit and post it because I want to post it tomorrow today oh it, it's morning mm -hmm. so <laughs> later today i will try it on show you guys and then edit the video and hopefully post it today as well so let's get cracking oh this color is so nice
it is 10.55. I just woke up, like, well, if you can see. 10.55, January 6th, so same day. And I woke up like 30 minutes ago or so. I feel fine. I feel rested. I, I feel like how I usually feel after I do a 24-hour challenge, which is like, ugh, disgusting because waking up at 10, ugh, it's so late. But let me show you what I've gotten. I literally, I was literally so tired. Like when I showed the clip at five, I was knocked out, okay? I could not, I could not stay up any longer. And my knitting really slowed down, so I don't think I got that much done after the last after the last update but this is what I have and it kind of looks the same honestly <laughs> it's still down to my chest above my belly button a little bit but you can really see the color even better here surprisingly my tension was not that bad for knitting flat because when I was purling I was purling very loosely, but I do want to try this on. I don't usually try my stuff on, but I want to try it on and see how it's fitting. Let me see if it'll fit up my head. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it fit over my head so nicely. Okay, you know what I'm not going to do? I don't want to transfer everything, so... This is what it looks like, even though it's like that much longer. But I really wanted to see if this would fit around my neck. And it does so beautifully. Oh my gosh, this color. Mm, mm, mm. This is so pretty. Wait, okay, this is going to be more like this because this is going to go directly on the shoulder. Same with this. It's going to look like this. This will be a nice poncho. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to wear it. And it looks so nice and even, even before blocking. Like what? Oh, look at all these stitches I dropped. I to pick up. Oh, that's not even bad. <laughs> it's not because I caught it slowly. Okay, yeah, first of all, this needs to get out of my hair. Okay. Stitches dropping. Yeah. I'm not, I know I can transfer it to another, like, stitch holder thingy but that's too much honestly i just wanted to show the neckline anyway i'm loving the way it's fitting i'm glad i yes you want pets <laughs> you want pets dundee <laughs> that was cute was cat anyway I'm not doing this again. 24 hours? Absolutely not. I love my sleep and I was so tired. So tired. I'm not tired now even though I only got like five hours of sleep. But I'm not doing that again. And the pattern, seamless mock neck pattern, what are my thoughts on it? 10 out of 10. That pattern is so easy, so simple to read. Like, I have been reading so many patterns recently that just don't make sense and this one was like a breath of fresh a breath of fresh air because every single thing is understandable you don't have to think twice about what it meant and i was doing techniques i hadn't done before like casting off to start knitting flat or knitting flat and then bringing it back to knitting around like what the heck is that i've never done that before and i was not confused I was able to do the folded collar again without having to sew it at the end, which I'm so happy about because I feel like when I sew it at the end, it comes out tighter than I want. But this is just uh, so nice and so stretchy and loose. So beautiful. Even though, and I won't do the 24 hour challenge again because I was literally knitting every single hour for the 24 hours. Even though I took breaks and ate and showered and all of that, but I still knitted in every single hour and it was just like intense on my hands. Like I can still feel a little bit here, like some pressure or, and I still want to knit. Like I'm so excited to get back on this because I think I can finish it. Well, today we're going out from Lika's birthday. So 
I think I could finish it by like Saturday if I continue diligently working on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys want this pattern, I will link it down below because it is so good. It's so great for beginners as well, by the way, okay? And what else? The yarn is so soft. I'm not a fan because it's chunky. That is it. If the blend was like this, but it was fingering, I would be in heaven. But the fact that it's chunky is just like, mm, I want my four millimeter needles back, okay? But other than that, it is so amazing, so great. Definitely recommend. It is Drops Andes again, let me show you. Drops Andes, very, very good yarn. And that is all that I have for this video. Is the door open? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Onyx. Yeah. Onyx, Onyx. That is all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't stay up for 24 hours. It's not healthy, okay? <laughs> okay. And I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bye.